we will be talking about three of the coolest projection mapping software, Resolume Arena, MadMapper and HeavyM. And yes, by projection mapping, I mean edge bending, shifting, masking and all this cool stuff with projectors. You know what I'm talking about. Compare them or not, we will be going through the features and capabilities, put them at the same table, including their prices so that you get to choose what works best for you. We will be talking about projection mapping only, preferably multiple display output capacity because we want to add more projectors someday. So we will need the pro version of the software. That means Resolume Arena, Heavy M Pro and about MadMapper, it's always a pro. 99% features that we are going to do applies to LEDs and TVs except for the 1% beauty of projection. Oh, that makes the difference. Hi, my name is Vunat Sabir Ahmed. Let's dive in. I assume we all know about projection mapping. Yet, still a recap. Projection mapping is mapping or laying an image or a motion picture on a physical surface. 3D projection mapping is where you lay over the image or motion picture of a model or structure onto itself and do naughty things. Nobody does it better. What is needed? Number one, a photo or an image or a video or a visual file. Number two, a projector. Number three, a projection mapping software. This is where we're getting into detail pretty soon. Number four, a computer. It can be a laptop, a PC or anything. Number five, cables, converters, mounts, tables, and a lot of tiny mini things and the list starts getting useless from this point onwards. That is a great start, right? Now let's get bigger. To start, we take a bigger projector, then we add one more projector and then three. At this point, we start needing stronger computer and even stronger software. When it gets really bigger, bigger than a show becomes an installation. At that point, even more machine and sync needed. Then you go really, really big. But we are not going that far in this video. So relax, let's focus on small to medium projection mapping. As I have mentioned before, it is going to be very hard to compare these three projection mapping software in one platter. How about let's just watch the overview and try to find out what they are best at. First thing first, operating system support. All of the three software, they have Windows and OS X support and all of them are very well supported in Apple Silicon because the whole video and the beta testing was totally done in a Mac Mini M4 2024. Minimum requirements. So I was going to read out the whole minimum requirement of all three software. Rather, I decided to put them on screen so that you could hit a pause and just see and then move on to recommended settings. This is important. You should start here and go above. Ease of use. Mostly the user interface, how easy to access the menus and features, etc. For Resolume, I would say moderately easy, especially if you are a DJ or a music producer, it's a great start. In case of MadMapper, the life is a little bit complicated. Not to discourage anybody, but if you are frequently changing visuals and tapping stuff, MadMapper would be a bit complicated. But yeah, if you make your playlist that way, then it's gonna be fun. When the topic is ease of use and user interface, HeavyM wins the gold award because it's so simple. You could achieve a lot of stunning looks without knowing anything. Next, we are going to talk about the learning curve. For Resolume, comparatively, it's simpler. You will have to practice, perform, research, perform, continue the loop, and your loop gets better. In case of MadMapper, this is a bit interesting. I would say the learning curve is moderate critical. The beauty is you experiment, practice, perform, research, experiment, perform, get yourself better, and it goes on. When it's about the learning curve of HeavyM, I would say it's perform as you build and you build as you perform. The next point is who can start right off? For Resolume Arena, I would say DJs, sound producers who are using Ableton, FL, Reason or DAW, they would get a lot of relevance with Resolume. Especially Ableton users, they would just fill their next home. In case of MadMapper, 
motion designers and architects or digital artists, they could start off with MadMapper because the workflow is going to be very nice and friendly for them. When it comes to Heavier, any creative enthusiast or creative designer could just start right away. Features, Capacity and Ability If I try to note down the features of all three software, this video is going to get longer. So I'm going to pick up three of my favorite features of these three software. Resume Number one, performance style user interface. Number two, diversified input and outputs. Number three, expandability. MadMapper Number one, enormous mapping flexibility. Number two, space scanner, formerly called spatial scanner. Number three, advanced tool such as Minimat, Mad Laser, Mad Light, Projector Schedule, and a lot of, lot of interesting things. HeavyM, number one, start now. Number two, shaders, oh, they are so beautiful. Number three, less CPU, GPU consumption. The next topic would be user interface. When it comes to Resolume, it's customizable, flexible. When it comes to MadMapper, this is locked. When it comes to HeavyM, this is locked. Project customization and adaptation. For Resolume, you can continue making and expanding your project. You can import or merge projects. In case of MadMapper, it's not necessarily worth reuse of old project, rather making a new project is better. For HeavyM, it doesn't worth reuse of old project, rather making a new project is easier and it's more fun. Ability to collaborate. In case of Resolume, multiple VGs can work if they are bros, not fighting. In case of MadMapper, it starts getting actually complicated. Whoever made the project should be the VJ or it's very hard to transfer if there is not enough communication between these two. In case of HeavyM, this might be a bit complicated just like MadMapper. Library and user network. When it comes to Resolume, one word, enormous. Resolume has a great forum that has almost all the answer. They have a Slack which is super active. Also, Resolume has a big Facebook group with full of helping dudes, also a lot of haters. Not just that, there are a lot of external companies and businesses who are based on making wire patches or plugins specifically based on Resolume. That proves the scale of Resolume user in the market. When it comes to library and user network of MadMapper, MadMapper also get one word, meh, because it's so poor. The library is super rich, but it's not expanding. And user network, I don't know where MadMapper users are noodling or hiding. Why? And the library and user network for HeavyM, I would say moderate. Let me share a brief history about my work with projection mapping so that you understand on what basis I made this video. I was a dude doing live performances as band, making films in this tiny country called Bangladesh in 2010s. My bro whispered into my ears, hey man, you do live music and you make films, why don't you do it together? My journey as a VJ started that day. Next stop, Resolume, Projector, TV, cartoons, that landed to this show in this tiny country back in 2013, VJing with Ministry of Sound DJs. I didn't know them by the way before that gig, but later I heard they're like big as F. So that is not just my first one, but the country's first ever live projection mapping show back in 2013. Until now, me and my team have produced over hundreds of projection mapping shows, installations, museums, and providing the projection mapping content support for the studios from all over the world. So, Resolume Arena from 2013, MadMapper from 2014, and HeavyM from 2025. Now, the burning question, which software is best fit for whom? I would answer with my personal opinion. Resolume is perfect fit for live performance. MadMapper is great for experiential installations and heavy M, anybody creative can just start off. Can we try a demo version? For Resolume, yes, you get a watermark with a creepy sound version and you can try all the features but you cannot save. For MadMapper, you can achieve a lot of features with trial version but you cannot save and there's gonna be a watermark and the space scanner is going to be 
very tiny and there is a heavium trial version you could also try before buying it finally the price Resolume is 799 euro which comes around 839 US dollars matte paper is 459 euros plus tax which comes around 482 US dollars and the price of heavium is 259 dollars that's just sweet my highlights Resolume has a great knowledge base if you want to start you got it covered if you get advanced gradually there are pro dudes out there who are going to help you the community is huge another great feature is wire wire lets you make and customize your very own patches and share on marketplaces many third-party creators are also making resolute plugins again it lends to massive user community base probably the highest used vj software is resolute but for projection mapping yeah it's okay but wait for matte paper highlights when it comes to projection mapping my highlights of mad mapper when you are mapping being at your finest as cutting input mapping shapes then making ways to advance output mapping and curves edge bending the mask tool the drawing flexibility and complex capacity you don't want anything more than that in case of projection mapping the standout feature of mad mapper is its space scanner the magic this feature does is it can give you what the projector is seeing using a basic camera and scanning the environment this feature makes a complex mapping a baby's play i have used way too much bureaucratic watch out as well but mad mapper stand out on unique feature with this also among these three software only mad mapper has ability to make complex lighting and laser show along with projection mapping that's a story for another day my highlights of heavy m if you are daydreaming let me wake you up heavy m is not the software for uptight corporate or national production where everything must be blah blah boring it is rather aimed to the people who are not visual nerds but want to do super cool things very simply i mean yeah you can make your life complex with heavy m with camera capture, FX and real-time shaders, MIDI mapping, Artnet mapping and a lot of things. Also, you can make your video somewhere else in another software and map using Heavium and then boom, you got a show. Now, when it comes to projection mapping, I'm going to put a biased review in front of you and you be the judge. Am I right? Or my thoughts also need some edge bending and fixing. In Resolume Arena, we start with setting up the composition resolution. Then we put content on it, then connect a projector and go to advanced output. Then we go to the input mapping, take a part. Then we go to the output mapping and map that part to the actual physical surface. So in Resolume Arena, we start on an artboard or canvas or composition. In Mad Paper, you start with taking a slice, maybe a generic or custom resolution play content on that slice, connect the projector and map the visual onto something. So in Mad Mapper, we start with making slices or parts. When it comes to HeavyM, it's the other way around. We start with connecting a projector, then we draw slices and shapes onto the real world surface, then we make the show. Therefore, starting point of HeavyM is start drawing. I can also narrow it down a bit in my opinion which software is best for you if you are about to do something that is more to do with live vjing you want to quickly play a lot of visuals switch between them or mix them if your mapping shape are not that complicated and if it's a show go for resolute marina if you are making something very experimental you want scene like cues like theatrical shows if your projection surface is complicated if you want to incorporate interactive systems such as Kinect, if this is an installation, go for Mad Mapper. You don't care about anything I mentioned before. You want to have great fun making a magnificent show and you absolutely don't want to be a nerd to do it. Go for Heavy M. And if you decide to go for Heavy M, 
Use this promo code to get 15% discount. This is for you. Now, if you have been watching my videos and you think that I could bring value to your workflow, I got a great news for you. Reach out to me. We will talk more. Hi, my name is Zunad Sabbir Ahmed. I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. If you want to know everything about projection mapping, check out this video next.